ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి నా నమస్కారాలండి ఐ వాస్ సపోజ్ టు స్టార్ట్ మై స్పీచ్ ఇన్ ది మార్నింగ్ విత్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ బట్ ఇట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ టువో క్లాక్ సో అ వెరీ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ టు ది గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ టు దిస్ ఆగస్ట్ ఆడియన్స్ హు ఆర్ ప్రెసెంట్ హియర్ టుడే అట్ ద నేషనల్ ఉమెన్స్ పార్లమెంట్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీ అట్ ద అవుట్ సెట్ లెట్ మీ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ మై సెల్ఫ్ ఐఎమ్ భూమా అఖిల ప్రియ ఎమ్మెల్యే ఆఫ్ ఆలగడ్డ కాన్స్టిట్యున్సీ కర్నూలు డిస్టిక్ ఆలగడ్డ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఐఎమ్ ఐఎమ్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ గ్యాదర్డ్ హియర్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ ఒకేషన్ ఇన్ ఏపీస్ న్యూ క్యాపిటల్ అమరావతి ద బ్రెయిన్ ద బ్రెయిన్ చైల్డ్ ఆఫ్ అ డైనమిక్ అండ్ విజనరీ చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ నారా చంద్రబాబు నాయుడు గారు I am very happy that we have gathered here for this occasion in our AP's new capital, Amravati, the brainchild of a dynamic and visionary Chief Minister, Nara Chandrababu Naidugaru. I would also like to thank Dr. Kodala Shivaprasad Garu for giving me this opportunity to speak today. Thank you, sir. Heroes, according to me, are a product of opportunity and circumstance. As I embark on this small journey of how to be your own hero, I would like to walk you through a tragic experience from my personal life. This experience, which arose the hero in me, was the sudden death of my mother, late Srimati Bhuma Shobha Nagiradigaru. Fear and shock are the only emotions that I feel. Cries and panic are all that I can hear. This is my worst nightmare come true. has a struggle to take those few steps down the hospital corridor towards the icu a silent prayer escapes my lips unconsciously dear god please let this not be true please distort reality for i'm unprepared for this moment in time and then the heaviness of my head sank me under its weight and i fainted by the time i regained my consciousness i could see my mother amma i should call her ma lying on the other side of the glass seal icu on the ventilator she was fighting fighting not for a god given right to live not against the time that betrayed our friendship so suddenly no she was fighting she was fighting to spend those precious few minutes with me my sister my brother and my father she was she was fighting to she was fighting to say all those things that remained unsaid as a mother as a wife and as a daughter and so in a twisted plot of fate my mother was snatched away from me and my family on the unforgiving day of april 24 2014 she died in a ghastly road accident it was just 10 days before the state elections my mother went on to win that election and as a consequence earned the honor of being the only person in india who won an election posthumously however her victory offered us little comfort words are not enough to describe my mother's political and personal life politically she was a five time mla in the andhra pradesh assembly and the only woman to serve as a chairperson of aps rtc of course under the leadership of nara chandra babu naidu garu personally she was the anchor of my family she was the whole and soul of my father and as and his biggest support system her shoes were too large to fill her love too strong to forget it was under these circumstances that my father was contemplating on handing over her responsibilities over me but the politics were too complex for a young girl to handle the opposition too experienced and the work too hard to execute people believed that a boy would have been more apt for such a situation however despite many of our senior political leaders protest my father believed in me and had chosen me to fill the void he said kodukuni evaraina assembly ki pampigaltaru kaani nenu naa kooturni assembly ki pampichi oka manchi leader ga tayar chestanu ani chepparu anybody can send us on to the assembly 
I will send my daughter and a carve a good liter out of her. As ordered as I was for my father's belief in me, I was caught at the crossroads of emotion and duty. I felt underconfident and was unsure of my ability. But more importantly, I was emotionally broken. I needed a hero, someone who would be there to hold my hand and show me the way. I waited and watched, silently, hoping my, that my hero would arrive. Days passed into weeks. I began to despair. Weeks passed into months, and slowly, I could feel my hope fade away. During this period, I woke up quite early one morning. It was very silent. As I sat down at the corner, half sleepy, I heard a voice saying, What will you do now? Surprised and scared, I looked around. But again the voice came. How will you fill up your how will you live up to your father's belief? I then realized the voice was coming from my heart. It was clear and crisp and would haunt me for days to come. It was at this time that I remembered my mother's advice. Wokka adugu, wokka ituka, wokka ginja vesi modul petu, migita vani dan kodya ave sardukuntai. Take one small step, lay one single brick, and sow one single seed, and start from there. The rest will take care of itself. I've never looked back since then. Though it has only been three short years since my entry into active politics, I'm humbled by the kind words and support by, of my supporters and people who believe that I will surpass my mother in her achievements. Obtaining house certificates for 500 plus people of Chanchu tribes, facilitating pensions for 3,000 plus people in just six months, and completing works that were left untouched for more than 10 years are some of my humble achievements. A deep desire to succeed and an undying self-belief were the key to my heroic acts. I am happy to have given the opportunity to serve the people of my constituency and earn the love and support. Life has turned a complete circle since that unfortunate day of tw on 24th April 2014. There is a saying I have grown to believe in. Changes are what makes life interesting, but overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. In the process of overcoming my personal challenge, I found both a mother in the people of Alagadda and a hero in myself. Moving on further, it is important to discuss the status of women in today's world. If we trace the position and status of women in India and the world, we notice that the gender equality, which was once a far-fetched dream, is gradually turning into reality. In fact, Right from the day of independence, women in India got the electoral uh, franchise much earlier than the developed countries, including United States of America. This is highly commendable. There has never been a greater participation of women in spheres such as commerce, politics, sports, arts, etc. than there is today. However, there is an important need for such a cultural mindset to percolate to lower levels of society. How many of us question the attitude of our boys, lecturing at girls, as supposed to questioning our girls on their dressing habits? Hence, I call upon you all to present, call upon you all present here today to strive further for the empowerment of women. I know the task is enormous, but we should not give up. I am doing my little bit in more ways than one can imagine. I am sure, I am sure that if all of us unite. We can overcome this discrimination in not too distant future. To inspire my fellow audience, I would like to quote Mahatma Gandhi. First, they ignore you. Then, they laugh at you. Then, they fight you. And then, you win. I would also like to conclude my speech by saying a few words in Telugu. Irozu, ee karikramam ki chala mandi mahilara jarigindi. అదే విధంగా ఈ కార్యక్రమము మరి దేశ మొత్తంలో కూడా చాలా మంది చూడడం జరుగుతుంది నేను వాళ్ళందరినీ కూడా ఒకటే కోరుకుంటున్నాను అమ్మాయి పుడితే దయచేసి తలలు పట్టుకొని అయ్యో రామ అని చెప్పి బాధపడకండి తల ఎత్తుకొని గర్వంగా నాకు కూతురు పుట్టిందని చెప్పి చెప్పుకోండి మీరు మీ కూతుర్లని భయంతో పెంచకండి ధైర్యంతో పెంచండి అప్పుడే మన సమాజం మారుతుంది 
అప్పుడే మనం ప్రతి రోజు కూడా మరి మనకి మహిళా దినోత్సవం జరుపుకోవచ్చు సమాజం మారుతుందని కోరుకుంటూ నాకు ఈ అవకాశం ఇచ్చిన మరి పెద్దలకి ముఖ్యంగా కోడెల శివప్రసాద్ గారికి ధన్యవాదాలు తెలియజేసుకుంటూ సెలవు తీసుకుంటున్నాను జై హింద్ Thank you Akila Priya thank you very much